hey guys welcome back to the channel uh, today we're going to be talking about kayak and canoe launches in uh, topsail beach north carolina uh, just a few areas you can see right now we're, we're showing about seven areas and we're going to take a look at each one of them i'm going to break it down for you and give you my opinion on each one of them so we're going to start out at Serenity Point, which is a, a southernmost point that you can actually get to with a vehicle. We're going to move it over. We're going to take a look at Smith Avenue. Uh, this is another kayak canoe launch area. Then we're going to move from there. We're going to go take a look at Scott Avenue. And then from Scott Avenue, we'll roll over and take a look at Bush's Marina. And from Bush's Marina, we'll fly over. We'll take a look at Haywood Avenue. Then from Haywood Avenue, we'll go over and we'll check out Empey Avenue, which is not far away, just right down the road. And then from Empey Avenue, we are going to check out uh, Rocky Mount Avenue. So let's go ahead and start with Serenity Point. So here's Serenity Point. If you guys know anything about Topsail Beach, this is the southernmost point that you can actually access by vehicle. Unless you're out on the beach, and that's another story. But uh, great place. Uh, great. I've, I've fished. Serenity Point my whole life and actually walk from that area and, and go further south to get to the actual point, which is right there at uh, New Topsail Inlet. So it's um it's a it's a nice place to launch. I'll give you that. But there's a few caveats that go with that. As you can see here, it's got restrooms. Uh, you can launch the path is right behind that one way sign, uh, ample parking. But with that being said, uh, if you, if you're trailering your kayak, you're not going to be able to park there. No, there's, there's no parking there for trailers, just single vehicles. And another thing is, as far as I know, as, as of the date, this video comes out, this is the only area in Thompson beach that has paid parking. So I don't, I don't, I don't launch from here. I have, uh, I've actually launched somewhere else and, and came in here to stretch my legs and use the facilities, but, uh, it's actually a nice area to launch. One thing you have to remember is the inlet's not far away. So when that tides at its full, it is, it's ripping, it's, it's ripping pretty good, but all in all, not a not a bad launch, not a bad place to use. I mean, just remember, uh, no trailers. So if your car top or put it in the bed of your truck, you'll be good to go. So next place we're going to look at is Smith Avenue. Uh, this is a launch that I have used in the past. I, um, it's kind of my second choice if it, um, you know, I'm down there. Uh, and as you can see from the picture you're looking at, you can actually see a kayak sitting down on the shoreline. Now, if you look to the left of that kayak, it, uh, there's a big pile of rocks there, cinder blocks, all that good stuff. Um, so that's something you got to look out for when you're coming in because to the right of that kayak, uh, boats moor up. So you've got a little area and this current moves pretty fast so you've got to plan out your recovery when you're coming in you know you've got you don't have a wide area there to come in so you've got to plan it out uh, also it's got a little ramp as you can see the wood there uh the wood's a little janky uh nails are popped up through it uh i was really disappointed when i had i actually had to use this area one day and the nails and you know i just didn't want to tear my kayak up but it is an option. Uh, I keep checking it to see if they fix the wood, and so far I don't, I don't see that they have. But 
is also you can see here is only three parking places. Uh, so uh, that's one thing about these these uh, sound side accesses. Not a lot of parking. Not a lot of parking at all. So next we're going to go look at uh, Scott Avenue. Now this is my go-to. This would be my number one pick to launch from would be Scott Avenue. Uh, again, you know, not a lot of parking there. You only have three vehicles that can park there. And in the summertime, you're, you're lucky if you can find an open space. Uh, and it's not from people that are launching or fishing down there. It's actually from the people that live close to it or are accessing the beach access, which runs parallel from the sound over to the, the ocean. So, um, but this is my go-to. It's a little incline coming back up from the water. Not real bad, uh, but this is my go-to place. Again, very limited parking, um, and that's one downside of uh, using these these uh, public accesses for kayaks and launch your kayaks and your canoes. So next we'll look at Bush's Marina. Now, this is another option, uh, but you have to pay, I think it's 10 bucks to use their ramp. They've, got, they've only got one ramp and very, very limited parking. Uh, I have never launched a kayak from Bush's Marina. I have launched boats from there. And, uh, but if you want to pay the 10 bucks, you can get you some parking. And now that the, uh, the town of Topsville Beach owns it, you know, you don't have to just park there. There's other parking close to it, like at the water tower and stuff. So this is another option, um, is Bush's Marina. And, uh, you know, it's, it's in prime area off of Banks Channel. It's, that's prime fishing, prime fishing out there. So you got Bush's Marina as another you know, place you could check out. Now, next, we're going to check out Haywood Avenue. Now, Haywood Avenue, and like I've been saying about the parking, you know, the access here is got a lot of overhanging trees. If you're like me, when I transport my kayak in the back of my truck, my rods are in the rod holders, or they're on the front of my truck in my rod holders. So that's a no-go if you're going down through there because of these, uh, these low-hanging trees. And um, I'll let you take a look at the actual, what they're calling access. I, this is probably one of the, the worst. Now, if you look at the screen, you'll see like a little boardwalk going across. And you don't see any water. And it is uh, it's rough because... You know, you can see a little bit of sand, you see a little bit of bulkhead, and then this pit covered in rocks that you got to get across. Of uh, maybe a king tide, it may have some water you can get out through. Not a great launch at all. Not a great launch at all. Um, I don't even consider this when I go down there of, of trying to launch there. I don't. I don't. I don't fish there. Don't really do anything there. Um, now, where we're at here, I think we're, we're at Haywood. Okay, so next we're going to go look at Empey Avenue. Now, Empey Avenue is, uh, has great potential, but again, parking is a big concern here. Um, I have fished there plenty of times land-based. Never launched there because of the... the, the uh, because of the parking. Now you can see there's a big house there to the left and there are three or four garages dump out onto that little paved area right there. Uh, so what I do is I pull up tight to the sign there and get over on the grass and try to stay out of these people's way. You know, not so bad when I'm land-based because I'm right there and if something happens, you know, I can move my, move my vehicle so they can get out or whatever. But very limited parking. But this would be a great, you know, 
a great access area to launch your kayak or your canoes. It, it's good water. It's uh, it's very it's it's pretty nice, pretty nice. And uh, like I said, I've never used it to launch, but um, not a not a bad not a bad area. So, uh, let's see what we're going to look at next here. Uh, all right. So next we're going to take a look at, um, Rocky Mount Avenue access. And again, not the greatest, uh, you know, parking area, but this place does have potential. It, it, it it's a pretty nice, pretty nice area to launch. If you got good water in there. And, uh, as you can see, uh, you know, not a bad place and you're in prime real estate. You got prime real estate fishing out there. You're, you're in a good area in banks channel. Now on a, a King tide, all of this is covered in water, but again, you know, your, your access to this area is what's challenging because there's, there's no parking places. You don't want to park in these people's yard. So, but if you're down there. Uh, there's nobody else there. Uh, there is a place for you to, you know, put your one vehicle and, and park there. So I got a little bonus that wasn't on our original map. If you don't want to drive all the way down to Topsail Beach, uh, there is, you know, as soon as you come across the uh, bridge in Sur City, you go to Soundside Park, and where I have my... Uh, where I have it marked right there, SS Park, that is a kayak launch. Now, I'm going to say that, but I have launched there, and you think it'd be pretty nice, but it's, if you've ever seen it, nice aluminum ramp going down to it, and then you've got this set of fiberglass steps that just sit there on the dock right in your way. So it's not like you can bring your kayak down on this cart, swing it, put it in one of the, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the places to take it out. This thing is in the way. I had to take it off my cart, and man, I'm standing on the edge and about to fall in the water trying to, you know, get my get my kayak around it. And I heard that yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do some work on that that kayak launch. They may have, but it wasn't removing that thing. I have no idea. It's like a stairway to heaven or nowhere it's like four steps that go up i have no idea if you guys know what it's for please let me know but it is just it's useless trying to get your kayak out there unless you're carrying a 40 pound kayak you know when, I, when i'm loaded and i'm going down there you know i'm pushing 200 pounds you know so not a great place but if you're you're you can figure it out it's be a good place to go so guys, that's what I've got for uh, these uh, access areas for your uh, kayaks or your canoes. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, you can go on Google Maps and pull all these places up and check them out. And uh, you guys enjoy yourself when you come down to Topsail Beach. But we, we've got plenty of places you can get your kayak in the water. And one last place you can put your kayak in if you want to go hit that ocean, you got all that beach. That is one huge kayak access area. You're more than welcome to put your kayak in there. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I do appreciate you. You guys take care. Take care of each other. And we'll definitely catch you guys on the next one.